Hi everyone, welcome to Zero Morgan Collectibles and as always, this is your friendly neighbor collector Song. And today, we're going to try to review 3 Zeros Robodo Evangelion 01. Let's go! So yes, as you can see, the box is off frame because it's big. So yeah, first things first, let's look at the box. I'm gonna pan up a bit so you can see the face of the zero one. So that's a three zero logo, portrait of the zero one, and uh, artistic rendition. You have the Evangelion logo over here, Robodo series logo, Eva test type zero one. So for the sides, it's just top secret, Eva zero one. At the back, let's pan up a bit. It's a logo of Nerf, and at the other side is more of the same. So for the top, there's gonna be your 3A logo in the Evangelion look text, and at the bottom is your warnings, guys. Do not put it in, in your mouth. Don't choke on your toys. And this is not a toy, guys. Not a toy. So don't choke on them. All right. So jumping into unboxing, I took the liberty of taking off the plastic first so it's not really the time for the rusty cutter yet because there is this if you want to see it there you go you can see me in the reflection don't mind that you can see Eva inside and if you look at the back of the flap there is a drawing or a logo of the Eva 01 there so yeah so this is inside, so now we're gonna unbox it. As always, we're gonna do it from the bottom and away from us. Rusty cutter time. Progressive rusty cutter. So <laughs> yeah, I meant uh, there's also the Evangelion sticker over here, so you know you don't get you're not getting a bootleg. Let's try to open it without destroying the box for that unboxing experience. There we go. Let's put the box by the side. So this is Eva Zero One in the clam state. Let's try to get this big boy out of the clam. First impressions, dude, this is heavy. Wow, we're gonna have to bust out these scales for this. So, yeah. Oh, one of the fins came out for me. I hope I did not break anything. Oh, yeah, it's you can put it on and off. So, first impressions, this dude is very heavy. So, we have to bust out the scale for him or her. I'm sorry, and yeah. By the looks of it, this is reattachable and you just can put it back. Guys, heavy. What we have now are the accessories laid out in front of us so we can see them clearly. So this is everything in the box except for the figure itself. So let's start from head to foot for the accessories. First is the alternate head which is the awakened mode. So as you can see very nice sculpting indeed this piece is plastic as you can see the eyes the teeth even the tongue in there the paints are very nice the details are very good so very good head sculpt it has its own ball joint the ball joint is indeed die cast so yeah next would be the shoulder attachment for the for storing the palette knife that this palette knife is movable as you can see it does not go all the way because you have a spare palette knife which i have on the hands already so this palette knife palette knife no progressive knife i'm sorry is storable here which there is a slot here which you can slide it 
here to simulate the storage of the progressive knife. So yeah, there you go. Then umbilical cord plug. This is for where they are off the stage. And this is if you want to store it on the stage. There are ratchets there, so I will show you later how it works. This is the cord, which is bendy. As you can see, it is a rubber material with a copper core, so that's very nice. And then our entry plugs are here. A long one and a short one, so this is to simulate it being in, and this is to simulate it just on the top. Then going next are the hands, so splayed out hands, very nice sculpting, very nice detail, even paint, fisted hands, weapon holding hands, and the progressive knife holding hand which has a pro progressive knife on it already. Then for the last weapon that she comes with is the pellet rifle which has the classic anime look which I like has very nice detailing to it very nice paints and sculpting I wish they gave us an effect part but if you have mesco or something I think it can fit here so yeah and you might be wondering if it, why does it have a horn this attached because it comes like that maybe packaging problems but yeah this is the horn for the noble head oh yeah I almost forgot the base and the stand all right now to weigh the EVA 01 from Robodo 30 as you can see it's 00 right now and when you put EVA she is 414, no, 413 grams. Span up, so you can see that there is nothing on her, even the horn. So I'm just weighing her as she comes out of the clam. So again, 414 grams. So that's a bit hefty, almost half a kilo. So nice. Jumping into articulation for Robodo Eva 01. Let's start at the head. So the head. Just moving the head, she can look up there, she can look down a bit, the jaw is articulated so yeah it moves, you can see the red teeth in there, so scary. So if you move the neck with the head, just pull down, she can move down better, she can look down better, she can look up a bit. For that signature bad posture evangelion 01 and then i have to show the back first before the pylons because this is a feature so yeah you just pull on this there and then you shift it up and then you just push this and you take your uh, entry plug and just you plug it in as you can see there it goes. Entry plug inside. So to put it back in, you just tip this back. Push this in a bit. And then you push down. So that's very nice, right? And then the pylons, as you can see, are on ball joints. So they move independently of the shoulder. And then there are moving... How did you say this? joints over here clavicle joints that move with the shoulder so you can see our arm can move up to here even better then there is a bicep swivel our elbow moves up to here double elbow very nice and then the wrist movement is your standard rotation and then in and out there is um, a butterfly joint so there very nice movement for Eva over here 
the movement is a bit stiff because the joints are die cast guys so yeah I like that versus a very loose joint so next would be the torso movement torso you can uh, swing uh, to her right and then swing uh, to her left then looking down is not a problem because there are three attachments one two three as you can see she bends very nice forward as you can see there are three points one two three over here and if you push a bit more you can have her um that signature posture right evangelion in that bad posture there we go then <laughs> next would be our leg movement a leg does have a drop down method so you just pull on it there and then it frees up articulation kick outside up to here kick to back kick forward and then for our knee, it's double knee, so very nice indeed. As you can see, you can do that pose. And then there is a thigh swivel, very nice. And then for our ankles, there is this ankle guard that has independent movement as well. Do this, go up, so yeah. And then the ankle movement is very nice, so there's out. And then there is also your standard movement forward and back. I popped it out. But as, as you can see, uh, the die cast joints are very nice. So before I pop this in, let's go to the other side. Goes in and out. Nice rotation. And then the toe joint, which I love, is it's very hard <laughs> articulate this guy because he's heavy but as you can see toe movement is very nice and even put it up to there so yeah articulation for the EVA 01 is very nice very articulated indeed not hindered at all all right follow up for the articulation the knee guards the knee fins are also articulated so yeah they move independent of the shins so very nice you know what time it is it's table time <laughs> Going into size, Robodo 30 Evangelion is at about 10 inches, but at the top of the horn, it's 10.4, I think. Yeah, so yep, she is. <laughs> There's a bell, I'm sorry, she is tall. And for height comparisons, this is Waltus 5, the chibi version. This is the mother lover. And another cyborg robot 
is the reader. So yes, yeah, she is a bit tall for your 6 inch figures but she is not 6 inch. She was 6 scale or 12 scale, this would be super big. So yeah, this is a size of her own. So I'm just hoping that the 02 and the 00 comes along in the near future. So yeah, that's about it for the size. So going into final thoughts for the 3-0 Ropto Evangelion Zero Bun. Is it a must buy if you have the the metal builds or if you have the Dyna action? Truth be told, it's up to you. But for hardcore fans that want a very diecast Evangelion, this is for you. And it's cheaper versus the metal build and even the Dyna action. The Dyna action is big. She's about 14 inches. So that's says comparison no contest. But if you want something that will fit your cabinet or you can articulate better, I mean better because she's smaller than the Dyna action. You gotta have this or if you're good with the metal builds with its um, metal build artistic rendition that's good also, but this one is very um, anime accurate, and I'm told the green portions of the body are indeed glow in the dark. Let's try to see that later if we can capture that in video. All in all, for the price that 3A is charging us for this, this is a home run for me. It's just just above $100. So, no brainer, right? If you don't have an Evangelion and if you have money to spare, this is the guy to hunt. This is the person. No, this she is the one you have to get. So yeah, my thoughts. But if you have those MBs, those Dyna Actions, those PGs, it's up to you. Yep, so that's about it for the review, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please do leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that bell icon somewhere there. It helps the channel a lot so we can do this more for you so yeah eat your veggies keep safe and peace later guys bye